Hey, what's good, y'all? It's your boy DJ Fanatic, content contributor for LiveOffBeats.com. Welcome to this beat breakdown video. This beat is hard. It has like just a almost a trap element, but it's very like majestic or militant. It just has a lot of power to it. It's very melodic and has some cool brass elements. Like it just has a lot going on. And I'm going to break down these elements and show you the reason why I chose them. And hopefully I say something in here that inspires you or teaches you something you may not know in FL Studio. Bars that rhymed. So my bad. I didn't mean to rap right there. But anyway, <laughs> uh, if you like to follow me, you can follow me on Instagram at DJ Fanatic Beats. That's P-H-A-N-A-T-I-C or Sounds for Producers on Instagram as well. So let me break down the elements. Uh, first, I start out with a really cool loop, and let me just solo that. So basically what I did, um, I took the loop, I pitched it up a little bit, stretched it to reach this tempo, and also did a lot in the plugins and whatnot. So in the mixer, I chose, I usually start with Fruity Parametric EQ2. The reason why I do that is to isolate the frequencies that I want in the beat, uh, in, that I want from that particular sound in the beat. It's very important that you clean up your sounds and, and really hone in on what you want to shine on each sound in the beat. Um, next thing I chose a halftime so I can get like this weird underlining melody and I use glitch too. I was on my creative Mindset when I was working with this one loop and usually with loops like this I definitely want to take it to a whole nother level and come up with something very unique and, and me So I, I highly recommend that whenever you have a loop uh, Audio whatever just make it your own and what feels good and then I use shaper box I used a panning um setting so without everything and with so a pretty big difference there and next thing i added was like these um harps harp plucks to kind of give it some I don't know, like some type of movement, but also I'll let you be the judge. Check it out. It almost sounds Asian. It's like an Asian pluck. It sounds pretty cool. So it gives it some type of suspense and also another melody underneath to give it some more so stability but also just hey what's going on what's what's happening it gives you that feeling and next thing i added was a pad underneath so check it out and notice with that pad i just did one note it's just one note going from one to the other nothing too crazy because that first sound i had so many plugins on it and it was, there's so much going on i didn't want to over compl complicate the beat i just want to keep it just right and notice this uh pad has, actually has like this creepy sound to it so it's almost like a not a horror flick but it has just dark elements into it uh the next sound that i chose was the percussion element so here let me play that it's almost like crunchy it's like something crunching and with that particular uh, percussion element I use reverb to give it like a nice uh, tail end on the uh, reverb so it kind of delays into the sound it's like an echo basically and I chose that sound because I thought it was creepy and I wanted to add to the other elements that I have that are just kind of dark and eerie. Uh, the next sound that I chose was the brass, which sounds excellent in this beat. I'll let you be the judge. Now 
that brass is just aggressive and it just it shines and uh, notice there's two different melodies here to kind of keep it like a longer melody kind of keeps the listener listening this hear how it resolves naturally uh, the next thing I added probably was a, it's a brass hit to kind of add to the brass and I noticed I didn't use any plugins on it which is rare but maybe I was happy with it so it's already sounding pretty good with those melodic um, instruments now here goes some drums this is the drum uh, kick that I chose to use and the pattern And that kick itself has, if you notice, um, in the Fruity Parametric EQ2, I did some uh, frequency things where I isolated certain frequencies, but also has like this high end I had to cut because it was just too much air in that kick. And remember, you can shape your kicks and all your sounds with just EQ alone. Let me hit play again so that way you can see what's going on here frequency wise. I'm going to take the EQ off. Put it back on. Actually, I do like it with it off, but it sounds cool with it on too, so you can go either way. Uh, the next thing that I added in the beat was a snare. This is the snare that I chose. And it's already a layered snare that sounds pretty cool. Let me find out what um, pattern that was. Okay, so I did layer two different snares. Um, sometimes I use the same snare, but probably pitched it. This one's up. And this one's down. And here's the other one. So it's actually... Sounds like two different snares but it's the same snare wow so I probably did some tweaking somewhere in here uh, filter wise probably so that just shows that you know you can use the same sound and create different sounds this is basically sound design and it sounds almost like uh, claps almost but with the initial uh, transient of a snare so the next thing I added was the hi-hats. And it's a pretty straightforward pattern. Um, I cut the lows on it and used Fruity Panomatic, where basically it's panning left and right automatically to give it kind of, you know, just some space. Uh, next thing I had was a another hi-hat with a unique pattern check this out this pattern is crazy <laughs> so i have two different hi-hats one is going crazy just doing something different and the other one's pretty straightforward so i kind of wanted that contrast i thought it was dope so last but not least, there is a transition sound here. You'll hear that when I play the beat. But uh, last but not least, of course you need that. I chose a bass. So I used the storage plugin, I think, and chose a sub bass that was in there. And I try to use all the plugins I have and just find different things in them and utilize them. You know, you buy it or you got it or whatever, use it. Um, and challenge yourself too because you can take those sounds and also shape them uh, so here it is with the sub bass nice so there you have it that's most of the elements mixing wise I did some panning I pan the harps to the right pan the brass to the left um, as you can see, all the plugins I used when I went through the sounds, uh, I did stereo separate the pad so that way it kind of just fills up the ambiance in the background like an atmospheric feel. 
Um, let's see. And the base, I tried different things but didn't like it. So I ended up just using Sausage Factor and the EQ. So that's pretty much it and the layered snares. So I created a sound with the later layered snares and also had some interesting things going on with the hi-hat. But the beat came out pretty good. You know, I'm getting a lot of love from it, so I'm grateful. And um, hopefully, you know, you learned something in the video or you enjoyed just the demonstration or the breakdown part of it or whatever. Uh, hopefully, this inspires you to cook some up right now. And uh, let me play the beat and hope you're feeling it. So here it is. here and into the verse. Here how it broke down, it's real clear here. Leave space for the artist. beat hits hard man i don't it's hard for me to picture who i hear on that beat it's it's a very interesting beat it's unique so anyway you know hopefully you enjoy the video thank you for watching again it's um if you like to follow me you can follow me on instagram at dj fanatic beats spell p-h-a-n-a-t-i-c or sounds for producers on instagram and again it's been your boy dj fanatic beats content contributor for liveoffbeats.com and uh don't be afraid to try to stack the same snare together and create your own snare you know these are your sounds and you should feel free to be creative with it all right so cool i'll see you at the next video peace and love